Hi everybody, this is Debbie from PedigreePups.com and today I want to take a couple minutes to talk with you about just one of my favorite little dogs from the Toy Dog Group from, or from the AKC Toy Dog Group and it's the Pug. Now the Pug is a member of the AKC Toy Dog Group and it's also one of the oldest dog breeds there are. Now this dog can be traced back to at least 400 BC where Buddhist monks kept uh, these dogs as pets. Now it's believed that they got their name by being compared uh, to the facial expressions of the marmoset monkeys which were also so popular during, especially during the 1700s. Now these dogs uh, traditionally are an even tempered breed. They're very playful, they're outgoing, they're very dignified, they're loving and these dogs possess just a lot of charm. And these dogs have also been called uh, or referred to often as multo and parvo, which basically means a lot of dog in a small space. Now these dogs uh, just are just cute little puppies, it's cute, cute, cute. They come in black, uh, and the, all, like you see here, the fawn color. They also come in black, but as you can see, they just are just cute little puppies, just adorable. Now these little dogs are very square in, in stature. Um, they're usually around 14 to 18 pounds in weight. They have a very smooth and short coat and it's just very easy to care for. Now because these dogs uh, lack the um, longer snouts and you know the skeletal brow ridges like many other dog breeds, they're very susceptible to eye injuries such as puncture wounds or even scraped corneas and sometimes they have entropion which is when the eye, the eye will actually kind of bulge. Now pugs have, uh, as you can see here, they have a very compact little snout. Uh, their little passageways, as you can see here, it's another picture, you can see it a little bit easier on the fawn colored. Um, they have a very short passageway and sometimes this can make their breathing or their ability to regulate even their temperature you know through evaporation just just very hard now these complications because of the the way their face is uh, configured can lead to you know accelerated injury or even death if you leave them in a hot condition such as a car or or even outside or whatever especially on very hot days when the temperatures could get over you know like 80 degrees now these dogs are especially um, heat and cold sensitive and uh, as you can see here that short short coat is very easy to take care of it requires very little grooming but the folds in their faces and the little wrinkles on their faces and around their snouts uh, they do need to be cleaned quite often now because of their short little face their little smooshed in nose these dogs do snore and wheeze and, and some people say they snuffle but otherwise these are generally a pretty healthy little dog breed now they do get along quite well with children and with other pets but they can become quite jealous uh, if they feel they're not getting enough tension from you so just you know keep that in mind now originally these dogs uh, came from China Typically, they live to be about 12 to 15 years in age. They can come in um, solid black in color. They can also come in a tan or an apricot or even a silver color with black markings. Now, these dogs can have allergies, and as we talked about before, they can have you know chronic breathing problems. And because of that, you know, short, stout little body, the smooth little head, and everything, there can be also some problems. Uh, with even whelping, you know, as far as like uh, having puppies or whatever. So they can also have skin problems and because of their short little snoot, like we said before, they can have eye problems. So you just have to be aware of all these things. Now these dogs can make wonderful little family pets, you know, because they're, per you know, overall they're pretty docile. They don't bark a lot and they do get along with children and other animals. They're also very intelligent and very social little dogs and the best home for any pug is inside with their family. So if you'd like to learn more about the pug or any other uh, members of the AKC uh, dog breeds, please feel free to come by and check us out anytime at pedigreedpups.com and here we have all sorts of dog breed information, there's articles, there's videos, there's just a wealth of information to check into anytime to uh, just learn more about the purebred dog. So I hope you've enjoyed this information about the cute cute little pug and feel free again to come by and check us out anytime. Y'all have a good day. Thank you very much.